Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. The look I have done for you is just a really, really simple look that you can do for the holidays or any kind of event that you might be having. It's really, really simple. Anyone can do it, I promise. And the best thing about it is we did not have to do any kind of winged eyeliner. And if you know me, you know I hate that So I really hope you enjoy this tutorial. I'm going to get started with the video, so I hope to see you soon. Bye. So to start off with, I'm going to use a fluffy brush. It looks like this. There's no number on it. It's from my makeup brush set. I wish there was a number on it so I could tell you what kind of brush I use, but it doesn't, so I don't know. And then I'm going to go into my Masquerade palette. I know I've been using this palette a lot, but the colors in here are awesome, so I'm going to use them because I can. And I'm going to first use the color Burkina. It looks like this. It's this one right here. And I'm going to put that right into my crease. I'm going to start out on my outer corner and then lightly blend that into my crease. Now I'm also kind of going to blow it upwards, so this isn't going to stay all in our crease, but my main focus is to keep it in my crease and then kind of taper up with it, if that's the right word. Okay, next color I'm going to use is called Fulani, and it's this corner color right here. And this is a really dark color, so be very easy, and all these colors are super pigmented, so take it easy when you are dipping your brush into it. But I'm going to take this right into the outer corner of my eye and push that right into my crease. This color, I kind of want to mainly keep it in the crease, but if it goes up around, don't worry about it. Not a big deal. My fucking microphone isn't plugged in. I'll be right back. Okay, hopefully you can hear me a little bit better now. My mic is plugged in, so we're good to go on that part. The next color I'm going to take is called Zulu, and it's this color right here. Still using the same brush. I'm going to do the same thing I've been doing all over again. I know it's really boring, I'm really sorry, but this is how, this is how this is gonna go today. Okay, last color I'm going to take is, I think it's Ada, I don't know, but it's this color right here. It's more of a darker reddish brown color, and this color I'm going to put right into the outer corner of my eye. So my main focus with this color is to keep it right about here. You can blend it into your crease a little bit if you want, but I'm really going to concentrate this right on the outside. So the next color I'm going to use is called Morello Cherry, and it's from Makeup Forever, and it's this color right here. This is one of my favorite, favorite colors in the world. I love it. It's like a really deep cranberry red color and I think it's awesome for this time of year and any time of year because this is like oh I love this color also this is super 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 pigmented it's very rich in pigment so a little bit goes a long way I know there are some people that use makeup forever um, eyeshadows and have a lot of trouble blending them out I haven't had this issue yeah I can't really speak on that part I love their eyeshadows and I love this color this is the only other eyeshadow I have from them. I love this color. And the brush I'm going to use is this tapered brush right here. It goes to a point and I'm going to use it on the outer corner of my eye and down on my lower lash line. So I love makeup brushes like this or eyeshadow brushes, whatever. So I'm going to dip my eyeshadow brush in there very lightly. And like I said, a little goes a long way. So please don't go ape shit with this. And I'm going to pat this right on the outer corner of my eye. I really want the outer corner to be a deep, deep burgundy color. I'm just going to pat, 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 pat. And when most of your shadow is on the outer corner of your eye, this is going to sound super weird. I'm going to explain it the best I can. But when you have most of the color on the outer corner of your eye and off of your brush, then slowly start taking this toward the inner corner of your eye. So I'm like packing it on the outer corner and as I go toward the center, I just keep patting because I want it to kind of have a gradient effect. So dark light. All right, and then you should have like barely any color when you get to the inner corner of your eye. So it should look something like this. Now dip your brush back into that color and what we're going to do is 
start smoking out our lower lash line. I kept the colors mainly on the outer corner, so that's what we're gonna do on our lower lash line. So um, I take my brush and hold it at an angle like this, and then start at my outer corner. So basically do the same thing that you did up here, down here. So hold it at an angle and then brush all that color on the outer corner of your eye. And then when you think most of the product is off of your brush, then slowly start dragging that into your inner corner. All right, and if you need more product, get some more. Obviously you're probably gonna need more, but um, stick with the same tactic. I kind of want to blend my crease a little bit, so I take my fluffy brush and just kind of go into my crease and blend. You do not have to do this, it's just something I do because I'm super like, anal about the way my makeup looks, so. Back to our Masquerade palette. I'm going to go into the color Casablanca, and it's a shimmery, coppery, gold color right here. Super awesome. And for colors like this, I don't use a brush, only because when it's kind of like a shimmery color, I feel like when I brush it onto my eyelids, the color doesn't really stick to my eyelid. It kind of like, I don't know, the color payoff isn't really that great and my brush seems to like wipe away most of the color and then I'm just left with like a really bland, shimmery color on my face. And I'm not cool with that. So I use my finger. And the finger I mainly use is my ring finger. You can use any finger you want. But um, yeah, I stick with my ring finger. It's all preference. And like I've said in previous videos, you really wanna make sure that you don't have any oils on your hands. So maybe like take a baby wipe to your fingers before you dip it into your palette because what'll happen is, if you can see this green color right here, let's see, this green color, see how it's kind of like patchy looking? That's because I did my eyeshadow one day before I did my foundation and dipped my hand um, in that color and transferred oil to that palette. So now I basically have to scrape off a layer of eyeshadow to ever use it. So yeah, don't do what I did. Don't be a fucking idiot. So with this color, I'm going to um, go right into my inner corner and just tap. Everything we're doing is tapping. So take your finger and just start tapping that in your inner corner and then slowly bringing that toward the center of your eyelid. This color has like BA payoff, so you will not need a lot but press that into your eyelid so it kind of sticks. So now that we're done with our eyeshadow, next we're going to do eyeliner. You guys know how much I fucking hate eyeliner. If I can avoid it at all costs, I will. Do I wear it like 90% of the time? Yeah, but if there's an easier way to do things, I'm all about that. Yep, I'm for that, that option. And if you want to do like a dramatic wing, that's fine, but I just kind of wanted to keep it not super dramatic because I really didn't want to take away from the colors on my face. So um, I'm just gonna run Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Crayon on my lower lash line and my upper lash line, and we will move on from there. When you have your eyeliner on, take a brush, and the brush I like to use is probably one of my favorite brushes to use when I'm dealing with eyeliner looks like this, is a really square flat brush like this. This actually came in, it's a really tiny one. This came in my doo-wop eyeshadow trio that I did a video on a while ago. This has been one of the best eyeliner or eyeshadow things to use to like smudge out, what the f am I trying to say? blend out, buff out, whatever with eyeliner. And yeah, it's become one of my favorites and it's going to be super easy to lose. I'm really good at losing things. What happens when I put eyeliner on like this is, I don't know if you can tell, um, I'll try and get closer, but you can see like a space between my eyeliner and my lashes. I don't know, can you see that space? Anyway, there's a space. And what I do is I take this and I like rub it so there's no visible space. So I take this little brush and if you have any kind of makeup brush that's flat, that should work just fine. Even a brush like this would work just great. Um, a brush like this would work just as well. I just like this one. So, and if you don't have any brush at all, use your finger. Fingers are amazing tools when it comes to makeup. So, use what you got. So I'm just going to kind of, I don't know, blow this out. 
What am I trying to say? Smoke it out. That's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to kind of smoke it out. All right. And then what I like to do with this is kind of pull the eyeliner up a little bit. You don't have to do anything too crazy. I just like to pull it up so it kind of gives a little bit of a wing, but nothing too crazy. Now that we're done with eyeliner, thank God, let's move on to mascara and falsies. The mascara I'm going to use is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I just need to find it. So here is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. This is what I use, you know, just on my regular lashes. And then I'm going to use the Christina DW lashes. Um, they're super long lashes uh, and they're awesome. I'm going to pop these on and then I'll be right back. I've done this like a zillion times, so I'm sure you guys don't want to see it, so just give me a second. All right, my lashes are on. <sighs> Thank God, now I don't have to deal with that. So let's move on to the final part of this look, and that's our lips. Now, I don't know actually what color I was planning on wearing, and I have, I don't know, I just have so many that I still don't really know. All right, so for lipstick, I decided to go with a very old, old lipstick I have, and this is called Cherry Rain. And this is actually by L'Oreal? No, Maybelline. This is a Maybelline lipstick. It's very old. I've had it forever, but it works very well. It's like a red pink color, and I think it'll go well with our eyeshadow. So I'm gonna throw this on, and we will be done, and I can set you free. Okay, so that is my lipstick, and this is my completed look. I really hope you enjoyed it, you guys. This is a lot of fun to do. I wanted to just give you something that is really simple and easy that you can wear during the holidays. And I don't know, I think it turned out pretty well. I hope you do too. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. And I will set you free because I know you have a lot of other stuff you probably should be doing. Please have a nice day and or night, depending on when you watch this. And if you have not already, please subscribe to my channel and look me up on Instagram, Snapchat, all that fun stuff. It's all Lelu Beauty. It's all the same stuff. It's really easy to find. I'll let you go now. Please stay safe and happy and I will see you next time. Bye guys.